Hey guys, it's Hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today is my birthday. I'm 18 today. Um, June 15th is my birthday. I think that's when I'm uploading this. I'm most likely uploading this on my birthday. But anyways, today's my birthday. And yes, I'm extra. I'm wearing a birthday girl little thing I got today. I'm so happy. <laughs> as a birthday treat to you guys to show how much i care to show how thankful i am for all of you and all your support i'm doing a story time on how i manifest my girlfriend okay pause so i totally <laughs> like explained the story about how i met her and then after i explained the story of how i met her i told you guys how i manifested her at the end of the video i kind of got ahead of myself and forgot to explain it along the way but it, it's in there it's at the end look at i have her little i have a little necklace with an a on it because her name is dun 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 Lexi. Name reveal. Her name's Lexi. If you guys have seen my stories or my TikToks or anything, you guys know her by now. But if you guys don't, um, my girlfriend's name is Lexi. Um, Alexis, that's why I have an A. She is everything. She's everything. She's perfect. She's mm. Mm. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how I manifested her and how I manifested everything in a relationship because we're dating now. So, so. It goes back to January. I don't know if some of you guys know this or not, but I am actually a musical artist and I have music on Spotify and I actually was releasing a new little EP, super short like single kind of thing. And I was having a little bit of a release party and I don't really have a lot of friends. <laughs> I mean it, I don't have a lot of friends, like maybe three, maybe three um but i did have this one friend and i was like hey i know we have hung out a lot so you can invite another friend if you want so you're like not coming to my house not knowing anyone you know um just being nice just being a good guest i mean a good host yes and i knew that she was friends with this girl lexi i didn't really know her i didn't really know anything i just knew that she was friends with her because she hung out with her and i was like you can invite that girl lexi yeah you can invite her and so the release party day comes and by this time i already had a little i already had a little crush on lexi i thought lexi was so hot like when i say so hot i mean so hot like i told jenna because jenna was here jenna was here for the release party um in ohio <laughs> And I was like, Jenna, this girl that's coming is so fun. Oh my God, I call dibs, which is rude. Don't call dibs on people. People could make their own decisions. Actually, I'm a manifestation coach. I don't believe in free will. So I basically told all my friends like, this girl's coming. I think she's really pretty. Um, And yeah, I just think she's pretty. I didn't really know anything about her. I just knew that she was pretty. That's really it. So don't judge a book by a cover. She came with her friend and her friend ended up leaving um and me and Lexi just got really close because like something happened my friend felt sick and we were all sitting in the bathroom with her um it was really bad and me and Lexi kind of just sat in the bathroom with her and we kind of clicked over that like clicked over like helping my friend out that was not feeling good <laughs> at all only in my house only in my parties this stuff happens I swear to god so the entire night Lexi and I just kind of hung out and only a few people slept over, I think. I, no, a lot of people slept over, actually. A lot of people were sleeping, but Lexi didn't want to sleep. She was like, I don't like sleeping at other people's houses. And I totally got that. But I was not about to let her stay up at my house while I slept. Mm -mm, I don't like when people watch me sleep. So I stayed up with her. And by this, okay, I, I have a really bad sleep schedule, guys. Like, my sleep schedule is so bad. And at this point, I finally fixed it. And I was going to bed at 8 p.m. I stayed up with this girl till 11 a.m. Why? I just did. We stayed up all night and then Lexi was like, let's go watch the sunrise. So we went and watched the sunrise. It was completely cloudy and freezing cold because it was snowy outside. And then we went to Target and then we went out to breakfast and it was just fun. And then she was like, hey, I have a steak. And I was like, you have a snake? And then she started talking about how she had younger siblings and I love kids. Like I love kids so much. So I was like, can I see them? I came inside and there was little cute little kids. And then she comes downstairs and she goes, here, hold this. Drops a mother effing snake, a freaking eight foot snake in my hand. Now I'm holding on to it. I don't know what to do. I do not like snakes. And it, okay, it's not that I don't like snakes. I don't mind snakes. I have a texture thing. And the skin on the snakes, ew ew i gotta stop thinking about it so i liked this girl so much that i held her snake 
The only problem was that there was a third party in the situation. And now I'm not gonna get into that because I'm not really gonna talk about my girlfriend's past. That's a little bit weird, you know? Especially on the internet to like 100,000 people. But I will say that there was a third party and the way I manifested it away was did not acknowledge it. Not in my head. In the 3D, if it came up, I would react normally, move on, affirm in my head that the only person she likes is me. And the only person she's allowed to like is me. And the only person she wants to be with is me. There were no exceptions. And let me tell you, I made it to be no exceptions. And basically after that, we immediately clicked. And at this point, this girl was not on social media. She didn't have Snapchat, she didn't have Instagram, she didn't have anything. She didn't even have a freaking number. She didn't even have any of that, okay? I could not contact her. So I kept telling her the entire night, like, I'm probably never gonna see you again because I genuinely thought I was never gonna see her again. Because let me be honest here, guys. I'm the type of person that meets a lot of people. We click, we have such a fun night. Never talk to them again. That's just how it is. And I could totally affirm that differently, but that's just how it is most of the time. So I was literally preparing myself like I'm never gonna see her again, like that's it. I saw her again a lot, actually. But I just remember going crazy thinking about her. So I went home and I was telling Jenna the whole time, like, oh my God, this girl, I like her a lot. And just like freaking out basically. And then I check my phone and I get a Snapchat ad from Lexi and I'm like, you liar. I was like, you did not, you told me that you didn't have snap. She goes, I just made it. And I was like, for who? <laughs> for who did you make it for? See, I try not to center the entire world around me, but sometimes when the world revolves around you and it's thrown in your face, you gotta kind of accept it. That was a joke. That was a joke. We basically text every day and we clicked over music and the type of music we liked and it was really fun and it was sweet and it was just nice talking to someone. And then the next day I was hanging out with my other friend Liv and we were like, oh, wanna hang out with Lexi? And she's like, sure. So this is where it gets kind of juicy. We went to a tarot shop, Lexi had to go to work. So we dropped Lexi off and then went back to the tarot shop because Lexi took us to the crystal shop where to, to get crystals because she knew I liked crystals. And I, we looked, but Lexi had to leave for work. So we took Lexi to work and then went back to tr the crystal shop and we got a tarot reading. Now I told the tarot reader, I was like, you see that girl that we were just with? I like her. I have a big fat crush on her and I want to date her. So I told him that and I was like, give me a reading. And he basically flipped all the cards and he was like, there's two paths. One path is everything will go perfect. Everything will go perfect. The things that you're manifesting are coming. I was like, first of all, I know I'm a manifestation coach, come on here. And he's like, you're on the right track. And the other one is things won't really go that way and you'll meet someone you like on a vacation, which is weird because I have agoraphobia. I don't like leaving my house. I was like, a vacation? Are you, do you wanna read that again? I don't think that's right. So thank God we went with the other option. He basically told me that there's a person that I'm thinking about that's thinking about me too. And I was like, good. My manifestation's working. I'm on the right track. Everything's perfect. And then later that night, we went on a drive and Lexi and I got into a little bickerment over something. I don't even remember. And she really wouldn't talk to me and then i just sat down by her in my room we were back in my room and by the way my friend Liv was still here i think she was sleeping in my bed <laughs> and we were like in the corner of my room by the window and i just start sobbing my eyes out which knowing now will be a reoccurring thing in our relationship but i didn't know that then i just started sobbing my eyes out i was like i care about you so much i don't even know you i bear i don't even know you i met you so like like a few days ago and I care about you so much and I know that you're a good person and I know that you have a good heart and I just you deserve so much more in life and you deserve so much more than you have been dealt and I just felt that and I sobbed to her for like three hours I don't know if that was the moment she was like oh shit I kind of like this girl I don't know but I just remember sobbing sobbing to her and I don't like crying in front of people like especially new people i don't mind crying in front of people it's just new people i don't want her to think i'm a cry baby hello and so i go give me five minutes i'm gonna go to the bathroom <laughs> and then i sobbed in the bathroom for five minutes and they came back and then we talked more and we just were open and honest about our feelings and just everything and it was nice and i've never had someone want to listen to how i feel 
not to get sentimental um and it was just nice having that and i was like i think that was one of the very first moments i was like dang this mother she got me wrapped around everything yeah. basically from there that was it so that's the story on how we met now how i manifested her that is a bit of a different story um going back to all the way to the release party before the release party i knew that she was pretty i thought she was pretty i literally was obsessed with her and so i affirmed okay well she thinks i'm pretty too duh so at that point i didn't really know her i was just affirming oh she thinks i'm so pretty she thinks i'm so pretty she thinks i'm so pretty just basic affirmations like that like oh she likes me she likes my vibe she likes hanging out with me stuff like that because i didn't know her and the more I started talking to her at the at the party, I started talking, like, affirming a little bit heavier. Like, oh, she really likes me. She really likes being around me. Um, she wants to be around me more. She wants to communicate with me. She wants to talk to me all the time and things like that. And then as the days kept going on, I was like, okay, this is actually something I really, really want. And this is what I did every single night, along with just completely affirming and living in the end every second of the day because I liked this girl a lot. It was not hard for me to pretend because I was like, let me live in my fantasy. Let me live in my fantasy. This is amazing. I would every night for about 30 minutes to an hour before I went to sleep, take my phone. I'd put it behind my head like this with my like this up, my hood up, my phone back here. And I'd close my eyes and I would put music on and I would visualize every little thing I wanted to happen. So seeing her walk into my door, going on late night car rides with her, seeing her in my room talking and her holding me while I cried again and just her running up to me, hugging me, showing me that she loves me, her telling me that she likes me, her telling me that she wants to be with me. I'd visualize everything for 30 minutes to an hour and that is what I do when I manifest because that works the best for me. And I did that every day for seven days. And then she told me she liked me. It only took seven days from when I met her for her to tell me I like she liked me. And I was like, oh, that's a power move. That is a power move on my end. That is a power move. It was amazing. And I that's all I did, guys. That is all I did. I just continuously lived in the end. I didn't let any thoughts come up. If a third party thought came up, bye. Did I cry over a third party? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Because I'm human. And if I hear something I don't like, tears come out of my eyes. It's uncontrollable. But I just revised it. And I decided, no, that's not happening in my reality. I will not allow that. And I just kept moving on. I didn't let it affect me. I didn't let it affect my mood. I didn't let it affect my thoughts because it didn't matter because I knew that soon my reality would conform. And after just visualizing and listening to music and feeling the emotions of how I would feel when these things were happening, boom. And now we've been dating for, I don't know, a few months. I don't Lexi, I'm kidding. I do know how long we've been dating. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for waiting for this video for so long. Um, I was just kind of waiting till we were both kind of comfortable sharing this. I think it was honestly me that was a little bit more lenient on sharing this. I don't know why. I just, it's scary. Ugh, it's scary. Because like, I don't know. <laughs> but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, watching this video has helped you manifest. Say it with me. Watching this video has helped me manifest. Watching this video has helped me manifest. And the birthday girl's going to sign out. I'm so happy it's my birthday. I'm 18. Okay, guys, I love you.